Hey, hey, I am, look at all disheveled I'm looking now. This will be my third video. I think the final one I'm gonna do tonight. So, this is why I started wearing wigs. It's just how thin, look at, I pull my hair back because I'm in Arizona, it's 120 degrees here, right? So I always pull my hair back. Look at that. Doesn't even cover my scalp. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna show you, you all of your wigs from Bella Flutter will come with the free basic wig cap. Um, the colors may vary, but we'll try to make it match what you would need for your wig. Um, all I do to put mine on is I put it on my head, throw it on, and then you can, if you have long hair like mine, mine's long but just very, very thin, you can do like a double braid, you can do a double French braid, however you want. I just take mine and I twist it up so it's easier to handle and then squish it up there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to get your cap around all of it. And then you just, if you have more hair than I do, you don't want a big old bulge. So if you're doing this method, you just want to squeeze it around so you don't have a big old bulge. And you may not want to twist your hair either, that way you don't have a big bulge, but I don't have very much hair, so it's very, very thin. So I don't really have, unless I put it up too high, like way up here, I don't really have an issue with bulging. So um, you want your, if you're wearing a wig cap, you don't have to, but you want it behind your hairline, so that way you don't see your cap. Um, I'm going to show you Prim Rose. So she's our first wig that we're launching. Um, when you get her, she'll be in a bag and she'll have a hairnet on. I did not put my hairnet back on her this last time I put her away, which is bad. But um, I have one here, so I will show you what it looks like. It'll probably have the little silica packet in it. And you would just, you know, remove it and put that to the side so you can save it for putting her back so she doesn't get tangled. And um, so I'm gonna take the little silica pack out for afterwards. So I can try to remember to take her off and show you. Okay, so when you get it straight out of the bag, you just wanna shake it around a little bit, wake it up. If you've worn it before, you may need to either um, brush her or comb her, at least with your fingers. If you are gonna comb her, I suggest a wide tooth comb or brush. Start at the bottom and work your way up. And consider, like, she's wavy, like, really loose curls, but it, and she's really long. Look at that. I'm only 4'11", though, so. Um, she's wavy, so it won't necessarily take her curl out, but if you have one that's got tighter curls, if you comb her, it's going to comb those curls out, too, so you'd have to fix it. So just keep that in mind when you're combing is it can change the way the curls look. These ones are nice and loose, just a little wave. This one does have a bang on it. And I will tell you straight up, they'll probably be too long. You may have to trim them. Um, she is an average cap construction. She's lace. She's got a lace cap up here. It's called rose lace. And it's just because it's like flowers. She's got the open wefting, so she's breathable. She does not have combs, which you'll either um, not like and you can add combs. Or it'll be more comfortable um, without the combs. It's up to you. And you, she has adjustable straps in the back, so even though without the combs, you can still adjust her and um, make her tighter so she will stay where you want her. So, and you can use a wig grip too if you need to. We will have those as well. But anyways, you will get your free wig cap. This is Primrose. She's beautiful. She's got the shadow root. It is, it's not quite black. It's a dark brown or not even dark really. It's just brown. It'd be on the darker side, but there's her part, so she looks more natural, even with the bang. And let's put her on. So I'm short. I'm gonna have to move you back to show you her length, um, but I wanna show you how to put her on. So you're gonna, this, if this is the wig, you wanna have her bangs forward and flip her over. Okay, so you're, now her bangs are right here. And you can um, put your head in I usually hold it right in the middle, that's just my preference, and then pull the back over my hair, get it settled to where it's over my hair, and then flip. Okay, now like, right, that's not gonna work. So, 
With bangs, I always get a little lost. You will probably get a little lost, and at first you're gonna be like, no way, this isn't gonna work. It promise you it will. So you can do two things. One, you can cut them, like I mentioned. Or two, you can wear a wispier style. You can either part them somewhere. Okay, so where you want this, now that you can see me, and I can see you, is you want this at your hairline. Okay, that's where you can, um, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if you can even hear that, my alarm went off. Okay, so you can pull her back if you wanted to just leave the bangs, but it's not gonna look as natural if you have this big ol'. And I do, her picture that I have where the bangs are pulled forward, I didn't wanna cut them and have you believe that they're shorter than they are. So I do have her pulled back in one of the pictures, which you can do, okay? You just pull her back and then have her. Now I will tell you when I very, very, very first got her, she had a couple of hairs that like, this, this guy, he's short enough. But like, let's just say it was a wild hair and it was um, longer. And I just took my, I use manicure scissors or curve scissors, and I just kind of trimmed, like just literally psh, cut those right off. So that's, I mean, you may not get that with yours, but that kind of gives you an idea if you trim them, you know, they're nice, that's a beautiful style bang. It's nice and wispy, you know, not a big old chunk of a bang, it doesn't go like all crazy back here. Some some wigs do not have cute bangs. Okay, but she's very wispy and beautiful. But um, if you're gonna wear her like this, I would suggest that you move her where you want her and then trim your bangs. And you can start by trimming them, you know, a little bit longer than you might want and just keep going and you trim like this, you know, trim them. I'll do a, a, wig, a trimming tutorial as well. Or, what do they call them? Like window bangs. If you want to just push them over, you can do that as well. She is just gorgeous. Sorry about the ring light in my glasses. Okay, so that is Primrose. Now let me try and show you how long she is. This is like dream hair for me. I had long hair, but this is because it's much thicker. Okay. And then her back goes um, to the top of my waist, almost over my waist, but I'm only I'm only 4'11", so let me see, I don't even know if you could see all of her back. So I'm only, go into the curtain, so hopefully you can see all the back. But um, I'm only 4'11", so she's super long on me, um, and I love it. I'm totally down with it. I love it. Um, she would be super cute pulled back even a little bit, a little pretty hair clip, oh I just, I love her, I love her bangs because they're nice and wispy. So um, I just wanted to show you um, on video what I like to show you is just what the inside of the cap looks like, show you if there's combs, when they're adjustable, show you sort of the length even though I'm really, really, really short. And so let me move you a little further away. See if that helps too, just to make sure. I'm just hiding from my kids in the bathroom, standing in my tub. So hopefully you can see most of that. You know, you probably can't hear me now. Oh, I don't think you can see all of it. See how long and beautiful she is? Okay, so anyways, I'll take a picture of the back of her so you can see. Um, a better one, that's one that's on the site now, hopefully. And that is Primrose. So I'll leave her, I'm gonna take her off and show you how to put her back into her um, into her net. Oh, she's just gorgeous. This is, I mean, and I wouldn't dye my hair pink, right? First of all, purple's my favorite color. Not that that matters. Purple, red, navy blue, um, black. I would dye my hair black. Um, I would dye my hair red. But I don't think I would dye my hair purple. And there's nothing against people that would dye it pink. I'm sorry, pink. Um, I don't think I'd dye it I did it once when I was younger. I had purple, like peacock green and blue. And it just, it faded so fast. It was, you know, I had to get all new hair products to take care. I just, it wasn't me. 
and then I had to upkeep on roots. Like this way I can just throw this, throw this young lady on, throw on primrose, be a fairy for the day, be a beautiful pink diva for the day, whatever. I mean, just sexy and sweet and cute. And then tomorrow I could be sassy and short and so you just, this is what I do. I grab it with my thumb and then I just pull her down over it. And I make like a little cradle. She's a little bit long, but. I'm just gonna shut it off this time. Sorry about that. You're gonna get to see all of the things. I don't edit my videos and all that fun stuff. I'd rather just show you me. So with her, since she's so long, I've got most of her in there. I'm just going to kind of, and since she's wavy, it's not going to matter, fold her up a little bit. And that way it's like a pea pod. That's it. Put my silica back in there. And she is good to go. That's the beautiful Primrose. And you can find her on our Bella Flutter site at bellaflutter.com or with your consultant's link. Um, and that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching.